Did I scare you? What's going on guys? Got a brand new movie review for you guys today and that is The Nun. It's a brand new installment in this Conjuring franchise and this one is directed by Corn Hardy and produced by James Wan. Yes, this wonderful man who owns Atomic Monster and is one of the creators of this Conjuring universe. Now, it's weird to think that we're in a Conjuring universe. Like, I'm still obsessed around this. When this film came out, I never thought we'd have a full-on universe on the Warrens and all their different adventures and now obviously a lot of it is embellished and the nun is one of those it's not based on a true story it's based on one of the creatures from the conjuring 2 which is Valak the creepy ass nun I was very curious to see how the nun would work within this because again I'm a big fan of the conjuring franchise pretty much the only one I've never liked is Annabelle and I don't hate it now after seeing Annabelle creation because I thought that film enhanced that film but we're talking about The Nun, and The Nun, again, I had some nice expectations for it. I didn't expect for it to be the scariest film I've seen, and I didn't expect for it to be the best film I've seen. But I went into it wanting a fun, nice horror film. And to be honest, it's in the middle. I'm in the middle on this movie. I don't think it's the best film I've seen all year, and I don't think it's the worst film I've seen all year. I'm in the middle. It's a good, decent horror film. Not the scariest, though, and that's where I'll equate this film. The Nun feels like an Indiana Jones gothic adventure. That's the best way I can describe it, and there's good and bad things that come out of that. Like most of my reviews, I'm going to start with the good, and the good things in this is Corn Hardy does a fantastic job directing this film. The visuals and the atmosphere are off the charts amazing. They are exquisite to the story, and they are a character of its own within this movie, and I love how Corn Hardy directed this film. I've never seen his previous directed film, but I've heard that that's what he has in that film, is his atmosphere and his tone that he puts in this movie, and you feel it within here. Walking around this abyss kind of castle, talking about the Vatican with the nuns, the whole culture and everything that he brings into this film, you feel it, and it's creepy. I'll give it that. That's probably the creepiest thing about this movie. The score in here is fantastic. I think the score and the sound effects, the sound mixing was all very eerie and dreadful and one of the best parts about this movie and one of the best in the Conjuring universe in general. The creak, every noise, everything had you looking at every single angle of the screen because Corn Hardy did a good job where maybe not all the scares worked particularly, but some of them were very smart. And I felt like if the pacing was just a bit better moving on to those, I felt like it would have worked better. Because there's one scare in particular in a graveyard that you're looking all around the screen, you're like, where's it gonna come from? Where's it gonna come from? And when it finally hits you, you're like, oh, that's where it came from. Performances here are pretty spot on, but honestly, my favorite character in here is Frenchie. Frenchie is awesome. He is very underrated. I've never seen this actor before in anything, but I really appreciate his character. He brought, he was the only one to really have any charisma to him. That doesn't go anything to our other two main characters in here where they are decent. I just felt like the writing on them wasn't the strongest. They're pretty good performances. Everyone gives in here a solid performance. And that's where I get to my cons. The film never made me scared. It never made me jump. It never made me poop my pants in a sense. No, it just never got me there. And I was waiting for me to get it there. And the film felt super rushed. It felt like a fast paced film. And I felt like in a sense, the scares should have taken a little bit longer to get to. Because you know they're going, but that's something that the Conjuring films do so well, is that they're building on the tension, they're building your tension. But I never had my tension building before the scares, they just happen. They build up a little bit and then happen, and you know when they're going to happen. There's like two really genuinely good scares in here, but I left the film feeling very eh about the scares and in a horror film you want to be scared you want to be terrified or you at least want to go home thinking about the film and i'm not thinking about it i drove home listening to country music and i was like hey i'm in a pretty damn good mood i'm not scared and the story in here is very average it's very plain it's very normal you know exactly where it's gonna go but i will say i love the way that they tie this film into the whole conjuring universe you know what's gonna happen in here somehow especially after seeing annabelle creation but it's so smart how they tied it in and it makes me intrigued to maybe see not even just another nun film but maybe something down the road in this whole franchise i i want to see where they go with more of these different characters they've announced a crooked man film they announced another annabelle film they've announced another conjuring film i want to get more invested into this universe and again i didn't hate the nun I thought it was a decent watch. Not the scariest film in the whole world, but again, film is subjective, and maybe you might think this film is scarier than I did. So with all that said, I'm going to give The Nun a C+.
very much in the middle of the road for the nun. I, I don't think it's the best in the Conjuring universe, and I definitely don't think it's the worst. I'm just in the middle. The film did some very effective things, and it also did some eh things. Tell me, guys, what are your guys' thoughts on the nun? Are you guys excited for it? Have you seen it yet? Let's talk about it down below in the comments. I'm curious to hear your guys' thoughts. Also, if you're new here, hit up Sandwich on Films right down there, because right down there, we can provide you with some movie news, movie reviews, and even some advanced movie screen tickets, which you guys could see movies like this and other films coming down the road early. But, of course, until next time. Stay classy and have a great rest of your day.